Hey everybody, it's me Levesque with PDOT Creations and today I'm going to show you how to get started with Unity. Okay, so when you're ready to get started with Unity, you want to head over to unity.com and here you can do a little bit more research about what they offer and things like that. When you're ready to download it and get uh, creating, you want to go ahead and hit get started here in the top right. So I'm going to hit get started and that's going to take you to their store page and don't be alarmed by this uh, first price tag here you see as a beginner and a hobbyist you can use unity for free so come here you're just going to click on student and hobbyist and in here you can see they have a personal version that you can use and as long as you're making less than a hundred thousand a year they can use the free version of unity so once again you're going to click get started here and that's going to take you to the download page. And here we are going to download Unity Hub. So if you're on Windows, you just click on download for Windows. And if you're not, you want to download for Mac or Linux, then you can just scroll down a little bit and you can see the download for Mac and then instructions for Linux to get it on those systems. But once you have Unity Hub on your system installed and open, you want to open it up. And here we have Unity Hub. So here is where it manages all your projects and your um, install version, your Unity version and things like that. If you haven't already in the top left, you can go ahead and create you an account. Um, so make sure you create a Unity ID and create your account so you can use uh, all these Unity features here. So first thing um, when we get here, we want to go to installs. And here is where you can install different editor versions. You can see here that I have four different Unity versions here. So you can have more than one Unity version on your computer. But if you don't have any on your computer yet, what you want to do is hit install editor here in the top right. And here you can install different Unity versions. You may, when you come here, you'll see that they have two different types. So they have the long-term support, then they have the other versions. So the long-term support versions are versions that they are going to continue to support and give upgrades. So let's say you go in and you find an error with the editor and you send them an email, they are more likely to give you a fix for the LTS version than for the other version. If you have the other version, same issue, you send them a message and say something was wrong, they'll probably just tell you to download the LTS version because they might have fixed that problem in that one and they're more likely to support the LTS version. On the pre-release tab here, if you want to um, test out one of the future builds of the Unity editor version that they're currently working on, then you can go here and be a beta tester or alpha tester for one of those versions. And then the archive is where you can download older versions. So let's say you went to GitHub and you download an older Unity project and you needed to open it on an older, Unity, uh, older version of Unity, then you can go to the archive and download that older version of Unity. But we are going to be using the latest and greatest. So we're going to go back to the official releases and download 2021.3 and hit install. You can see I already have it installed. So I'm just going to click on this one below just so we can see what the next prompt will be. So here you are going to be add to add the modules that you want. So first the dev tools is whatever you want to use for your, um, coding platform so I would recommend using Visual Studio Community um, version um, like Visual Studio Community just because they pair well with Unity and work really well together. I had a lot of issues with people using Visual Studio Code and uh, other different platforms as well. And then below you have the platforms that you want to build for. So if you want to build for Android or say MetaQuest um, 2 then you will want to add the Android build support. If you want to build for iPhones and Apple devices, you want to click on iOS build support, TV, iOS build support, and they also have a Mac build support. If you want Linux, you want to build for Linux systems, you add the Linux support. And then you have Windows. So if you want to build for Windows devices, say like the HoloLens or the Windows um, VR headset, then you will add the Windows um, platforms, WebGL. If you want to build a Web VR project with Unity, then you will do the WebGL um, platform. And then the Magic Leap, if you're building for a Magic Leap device, then you want the Lumen OS build support there. So once you have those, you decide what platforms you want to build for, you're just going to hit install. And that's going to install it for you. I'm just going to exit out of here. And let's say um, down the line, you get a new client or you decide you want to build for a new platform. All you have to do is click on this little settings tab 
and hit add modules and that will bring up that window back for you and you can go back and add those modules that you want to build for for that unity version and you have to do this for each um, unity version so each one can have different modules that they can build for all right continuing with unity hub you have your community tab down here and this is where you can find different forms um, that you can go on and just be part of the unity community you have your blog so you can see announcements um, creator achievements and things like that and then you have your answers and forms so let's say you are have a question about unity you can go on to the answers and search for it and see if it's already been answered and you can do the same thing on the forms you can search uh, find answers that you may have or ask those questions that you want if you can't find answers to them you can ask the community for some answers you have live help the Light Help is a one-on-one -on -one session with a Unity professional, and that is a paid service. So if you want to uh, pay somebody to help you one-on-one -on -one with Unity, then you can use the Live Help. The Unity Play is where you can upload. So if you make a WebGL game, then you can upload that and get feedback uh, from other players. And you can play other people's games as well. And then the Unity Pulse, this is where you uh, can give them feedback about Unity and tell them, um, give them feedback about their product, say it's an amazing product and you want to see it expand and just give them feedback about the um, Unity. So going back to our projects tab, if you did, like I said earlier, if you downloaded a project from GitHub and you want to open it um, here or just download a project from another source and you want to open it on your uh, computer, you can just click this open and that can tell you that you can navigate to where it's located and open that folder. And then if you're ready to create your new project, you can just go ahead and click new project here. And that's going to take you to the next page where you can decide what type of template you want. So at the top, the very top, you first select your editor version. So here, if you click this drop down, if you want to use an older version or a different version on your computer, um, editor version on your computer, then you just click that drop down and select which one you want to use. Well, we are going to use the latest and greatest. So we want to get that 2021. Point three, and then in the middle we have your templates. So your templates um, are pretty much the base of your project and how you want it to start. Um, it's recommended to start out with one of the render pipelines. So you have the standard um, built-in pipe render pipeline. You have the universal render pipeline, and then you have the HD uh, high definition render pipeline. So URP universal render pipeline is you're going to select that if you're trying to target a range of devices. So let's say you want to build for mobile devices and you want to build for PC devices, then you can select URP, the universal render pipeline. That's going to give you good graphics across a range of platforms. The HDRP, the high definition render pipeline, is made well tailored for more high-end graphics. Uh, if you want more of a AAA realism type feel, then you can go with the HDRP. And that's going to be for like Xbox, PlayStation, high-end PC, VR games, and things like that. There are other templates down here. So let's say you want to create uh, cinematic videos and you just want to use Unity to create videos and um, things like that. You can go to the Cinematic Studio. There is a VR Core template here, but we're just developing with... Um, you are, like, if you're developing for like Oculus Quest or the Meta Quest 2, or a VR device, it's better to define your render pipeline first because it's easier to add the other elements versus trying to build in or add the render pipeline later on. So it's best to add your render pipeline and then go ahead and add these other components later on. But if you want like a third person game or a first person game, they have those templates. They have micro games, which is just a project you can go in and see how things work and pretty much. Um, Use that as a building block to make your game and um, different things like that as we go down this list. But like I said, we are going to go with the URP. So we're going to click on the 3D sample scene URP. And this is just going to give us this sample scene here so we can have something to base and look at in our project. Um, if you don't want these samples in your scene, then you just go to the 3D core um, URP version there. So once you select your URP version, you're going to go ahead and give it a name here and then down in the location, give it a location, and then you're going to hit create project. And then after some time has passed, it should create your project for you and you're going to be greeted with the Unity editor here. So here is where you're going to build your game and actually put things in it. 
And in part two, we are going to go over more of the layout here and learn what all these things mean and get a better feel of what's going on here. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, have any problems or anything, just let me know down in the comments and I'll answer those questions for you. And uh, if you like this type of content, just um, subscribe so you can know when I drop new videos of the things I create and more tutorial videos like these. And if you would like to support this channel, then check out the coffee page down in the link. I mean, down in the description below. And I will see you all in part two where we go over more of this Unity stuff.